Yes, hello. It is I, I suppose. After four years. My name's Shaq 32 x and I have decided to make content again, which is a bit of a strange decision, considering I've been dead for four years. And in those four years, YouTube has gone to complete shit. Um, seems like every other day, there's some kind of demonetization apocalypse going on. So I thought now would be a great time to, uh, to return to that hellhole. Don't know why. Perhaps I'm missing a fruit a few brain cells and maybe I'm clinically insane. I don't know. But uh, I feel like the need to, to sort of make content again. I, I, I've always enjoyed it. It's just that about four years ago a lot of things came to a head and I sort of stopped doing it and then I never really returned to it because I was focusing on my uh, my life and my career. Which has been just as turbulent as uh, me making videos. Uh, so, so what's gone on then? Well, a lot. <laughs> so I work in IT now. That's kind of cool. But I've been working in IT for about three years and um, I've been made redundant about four times in that time. So it kind of tells you how volatile the IT market is in the UK. Uh, very, <laughs> essentially. Um, but um, I'm settled down now and I've got myself a, a new career prospect. So I'm, I'm enjoying myself at the moment. And I just thought you know, I've been seeing all this stuff about, and ironically, it's always been stuff that I predicted, like, years ago, so, like, games getting loot boxes, or games becoming services, and having this stupid recurring monetization, and that all came full circle and was true. Fun. You've got me to thank for predicting that, I suppose. And, um, I just thought that there's not enough cynical people on the web anymore. <laughs> there's not enough people that'll take stuff to account. There's a lot of people just dra like firing drama at each other and not actually focusing on sort of scummy business practices and stuff like that. And I just thought, you know what? I've got... I, I did this, um... So there's a new launcher for GOG Galaxy, which basically collates every game in every collection you may possibly have on a digital side of things. And um, on my computer, it's basically uh, totaled 3,200 games that I own. <laughs> and I'm not talking about them, and I'm not making content about them, and I'm not enjoying them, really. I'm not even installing many of these. My most played game is Counter-Strike, and I've been... Horribly, horribly obsessed with, with Counter Strike for the last couple of years. I mean, I'm going to ESL one in July, so that's going to be amazing in Cologne. Um, I am proper into CSE sports these days, which is a bit of a weird thing because I used to shun it, but yeah, times change, I guess. But I've got all, I've got, I've got all these games, and I want to talk about them, and I want to talk about how they impact and and sort of like whether they're fun or not. And like, they're, they're, I, I'm, I'm willing to bet with 3,200 bloody games across multiple platforms in my Steam library. And this doesn't even count the physical games I've got in my retro games collection, which I'm slowly building up. Um, I'm still trying to build up a setup, setup for that. That's going to take a while, but hopefully I'm going to get a capture card in there, get a retro screen, start making content for that as well, because that'd be really cool. But I've got all these games. There's bound to be a hidden gem in there somewhere. <laughs> like, there's got to be a hidden gem somewhere in there. I hope. By the way, the game in the background is, as you can probably guess, Counter-Strike. And this is the game where, despite me coming nearly first on the kills or the frags or whatever, we lost horribly. And in fact, I've been on like a seven-game losing streak and I've lost two ranks. So I hate Counter-Strike at the moment, but, but, but there we go. So... Yeah, I don't know what this video is supposed to be. There's no editing. It's just me saying I'm going to be doing stuff again and then watch as I probably fail to do stuff again. But there's stuff I want to talk about and um, other things as well. Like I've got a load of modded consoles that I've modded myself and I've modded, modded them and like customized the software, especially on my Vita and all that, all that stuff to make it a reflection of what I enjoy. And um, I don't talk about it enough. And I've been pretty silent on many things the last four years. And um, I just, you know, I'm only getting older. I'm not getting any younger. So I thought I'd, uh, I'd give it a go again because um, yeah, I thought it'd be fun. So, you probably have all forgotten who I am, and that's absolutely fine, but I'm basically, uh, I was a very small channel anyway. And the ironic thing is, I stopped YouTubing four years ago properly. I mean, there's a couple of videos that I've uploaded since, but they're just like test recordings, they don't really count. They're not a proper video. Um, weirdly, so, <laughs> I stopped at about 35,000 views, which I thought was pretty cool at the time, because, like, my channel before got... A couple of hundred thousand, but that was because of uh, one video that I was beta testing, and basically it soft launched on Steam without people realizing. So I, I I was just in the right place at the right time where I had made content for a game that I'd uh, previously tested. Uh, I wasn't expecting it to go on Steam. It suddenly appeared on Steam, and then like everyone watched that footage. It was a terrible video, by the way. Like it's long gone, but 
it was like right place, right time kind of thing. But other than that, in terms of like organic views, I got about 35,000 to 40,000 on my channel before I stopped doing this. And I thought that was like, you know, it's quite cool. I, I, I've always been a fan of the small YouTuber mentality. I see too many YouTubers these days um, sort of let it get to their heads, especially like Twitch streamers and stuff like that. Like, I can't watch many Twitch streamers because some of them are some of the worst personalities you could ever hope to meet. And also, there's been so many controversies around people I used to watch and look up to, and it's like a real shame to see and like. It, it, uh, horrifying really like horrible things have happened to people as a result of it and um that's kind of what's kept me away from doing it again really but um yeah it's just kind of funny because um i stopped making content and then um i checked my channel the other day and it was sitting at well over a hundred thousand views and i was like who the bloody hell's still watching this who the hell is still watching this like terrible parody about the bnp youth party I suppose it's now an or it's, it's sort of like a historical artifact because the BMP as a party no longer exists, and so all all they have is is my parody video mocking mocking them because they're a bunch of Nazis. Great, <laughs> I suppose that's my legacy. I live on the world or something like that. I don't know. So yeah, it, it's weirdly it, I haven't lost any subscribers since I stopped, and I haven't lost any views or like the views haven't just dried up since I stopped, which is a bit strange. Not something I'd expect. So. Uh, you know, I've sort of got a decent, like a tiny but decent springboard. I'm no longer sponsored. I've lost my sponsorship because you need a thousand subs to do that, and I'm well under that. And um, I've lost pretty much everything to do with my channel, so it's basically a clean slate. I've got nothing to lose. I now have a pretty decent machine to do editing and stuff. I need a new mic. I appreciate my mic is terrible. Um, I got rid of all my most of my stuff years ago, so it's been slowly getting that all back up. But yeah, I like. Uh, just the love of the games, man. It'd probably be a lot of CS videos, to be honest, because I'd play that non-stop and I'd like to talk about it. And I'm not very good at it, but uh, I, I think I can be entertaining enough for that. Um, so, yeah, hello. You probably don't know who I am anymore, but uh, if you still do, nice to see you again after four years and uh, more videos to come. And I'm not joking. I'm actually working on stuff. Haha. I think. I think I'm working on stuff. There's a list of things to do, so that's better than the list of no things to do, which has been the case for many years now. Take care. See ya.